The Bitcoin halving event is right around the corner and the market's looking juicy. Are we talking more all-time highs? We're going to talk XRP price at the end, but before we get there, we're going to talk about the fake Satoshi. That's right, Dr. Craig Wright. They froze your assets because you're a lying sack of crap. We're also going to talk about the halving event and some markers that might give us more insight to some green coming our way. And let's see what's hot or not this last week in crypto. Welcome new viewers and old friends. And you know how we start the video with your comments because yes, you, the viewer, matters most. Jason Vitorino says, gold price is manipulated, silver price is manipulated, XRP price being manipulated sounds like a chosen one to me. Gonna keep buying until the powers that be won't allow it to grow. Hash Bin says, XRP has lost 96.33% against BTC in the last seven years. Have fun staying poor holding that dog shit. It's slow death spiral just like every other pre-mined centralized shit coin. See, we bring both sides of the equation there. So whether you're pro or against XRP or other cryptos, you're welcome in this channel because we bring the news both good and bad. What do I got up on the screen? What's hot and what's not over the last week? I'll tell you what's hot. My wife just ran a 5K and homegirl was beat red in the face. As red as Doge on the screen. That's hot. Doge down a bit. Look at this though. SHIB up a lot in the last week. Pepe up in the last week. ICP, not at the $20 mark, but still strong. Look at XLM in the last week, up 9%. VeChain, 12%. Near Protocol, another 9%. Solana, getting close to the 200. Soul fans, comment down below and let us know you're in the house. Bitcoin sitting at 70,288. Let's get to the news. Bitcoin Cash's Easter comeback. Oh, some OG action starting to pump too. Everyone be excited. BTC ETFs leading into BTC halving and the market is nice and green. Bitcoin Cash, BCH, remarkably resurges on Easter Eve. Hey, that's today. That's why you hit the subscribe button and is back to the top 15 most valuable cryptos. Listen to these gains. This is what I want to share with you. There are certain things just popping in this market, okay? Notably, Bitcoin Cash has seen gains of nearly 30 and 95% in the last 7 and 30 day periods respectively. That's crazy. And you're seeing it shake out in the market cap, okay? Now, some things that we're going to be paying attention to, look at Dogecoin. Their market cap is starting to climb. And where is Bitcoin Cash? There she is right there at 14th. Look at the volume, 41 billion for that. SHIB, 50 billion in volume. XRP, 53 billion in volume. Look at Dogecoin. 110 billion. But who's got the most volume? It's Tether. Money printer go burr. Nefarious activities? Yeah, use your Tether. Bitwise CEO forecasts huge Bitcoin having impact. Now, the last time there was a having, the price reached 9,000. And you know where we're sitting today. So are we going to see that much more explosive growth? According to his most recent comment, Hunter Horsley, Bitwise's CEO, has sparked a commotion in the community, a very positive one. To illustrate this point, he showed that the last time BTC having occurred in 2020, the price was 9,000. He said, we anticipate a drop in dollars that is significantly higher than any previously occurrence. Bitcoin is currently trading around 70,000. We anticipate the having on April 19th to be a significant bullish factor. Dude, how much more bullish can we get? Bitcoin's at 70,000. Soul, which was left for dead since the FTX fiasco, near 200. Dude, there, there are some things moving. By the way, I know, you know I got to show it. In the last seven days, Dog Whiff hat up 94%. I know, I know, I know. So when is the halving? Well, the halving is in 19 days, 23 hours, and 58 minutes, slated for April 19th. Could the BTC gods help us out with a little bit and maybe move that one more day later? Could we have a BTC halving on 420? I think we all could then celebrate 420 with a BTC halving with a lot of green. Was I talking about price action or herbage? Comment down below. This is one that I'm really happy to report about because this guy is a piece of shit. Seriously, I know it's early in the year for me to give out my piece of shit award, but Craig Wright, I, he might win the piece of shit award. And you know there's a lot of pieces of shit out there. All right, check this out. A UK court sanctioned the freezing of $7.6 million or 6 million pounds in Craig Wright's assets to prevent him from 
evading court expenses tied to him being Satoshi. The decision was made after Wright transferred some of his assets outside of the UK after the verdict debunking him to be Nakamoto. That's right. If you want to move your money out, they're paying attention to you, you piece of shit. I told you this dude's a scumbag. So first he's like, yo, I'm Satoshi. Then the court is like, look, we're going to give you some legal clarity. Craig Wright is the only one with legal clarity that he's not Nakamoto. And so what does this piece of crap do? He's like, I'm going to move my money because I don't want to pay the fines or court fees. Girlfriend, if you're going to lie to all of us, you're going to pay the penalty. According to a UK court document, this prompted him to shift shares of his London firm, RCJBR Holdings, to a Singaporean entity on March 18th. This is what the judge says. Understandably, that gave rise to serious concerns on COPA's part that Dr. Wright was implementing measures to seek to evade the costs and consequences of a trial. If you're going to come out and say you're Satoshi Nakamoto, you better take the heat that comes back with it when the courts say, no, girlfriend, you're not. And how's that legal clarity for you? XRP, 63 cents. I like it still healthy. Now, is it banging like everything else out there? No. No. But it's healthy. 63 cents is healthy. In fact, do you know what I really, really, really like about XRP right now? That when I zoom in from the 20th of March on, we have been above 60 cents. That is big. It's big because you saw what was happening up until that point, right? Up until that point, we had that nice pump. We were sitting at 71 cents and you saw what happened. It couldn't hold and we went down and a lot of us were like, come on, man. Are you really going to drop us into the mid and low 50s? No, because on the 18th and 19th of March, you started seeing the rebound. And since then, XRP has held the floor. Now, the thing that XRP holders are a little concerned with is market cap because look at Dogecoin. Doge is starting to move up and starting to catch XRP, getting a little closer and closer. But do the memes have enough fuel left to reach the moon as BTC having is around the bend? Well, we're going to have to wait and find out. I mean, be real with me here. Are you not excited about the having event coming up here in less than three weeks? And on the backs of BTC ETF action, which was the catalyst that got this whole thing started here in October. This is freaking awesome. Now, I know, I know some of you out there are like, bro, my stuff isn't moving. Some of you out there are like, bro, I got into dog with hat. Well, rock on. And you know what? Rock on to everyone out there because the market as a whole looks a hell of a lot healthier than it has over the last several months. And I think that's something that all of us need to be excited about. We should. We should be excited that, you know what we're not talking about? Crypto hot potato. We're not talking about bankruptcies. We're not talking about firms closing or any of that crap. This is a way healthier space. Now, I understand that some of you out there wish there was some moon action happening, and some of the most favorite cryptos are mooning. But just because stuff isn't mooning doesn't mean we can't be a fan of it and root for it to moon. My White Sox sure suck. But it doesn't mean I'm stopping from buying a whole bunch of White Sox PSA slabs. Oh, we're just going to go on and on and on. Yeah, my recent purchases. So yeah, things are exciting and I want to hear from you. Are you excited with the BTC having event? And do you collect slabs as well?